This is a CBC Podcast. Danse, Anin, Bujou, and hello, unreserved family. It's me, Rosanna Deerchild, your favorite cousin. I've missed you. And I'm excited to share what I've been up to while you've been spending time with Phelan Johnson. I promised to come back when my new podcast was ready, and here I am. This Place is a CBC adaptation of the young adult graphic novel anthology. From the dusty streets of Red River Settlement to the trenches of war. From the pines of Oka to 150 years into our future. These are our stories. Our stories tell us where we come from. They tell us how far we've come and how far we still need to go. Join me, Rosanna Deerchild, your time guide storyteller, for our journey through this place. In this 10-part series, you'll hear true stories of Indigenous heroes, battles, triumphs, and traditions through dramatizations and author interviews. He won't stop. Not until he gets his railway, that's for certain. We may not be Canadians, but we are Otipamisawak, the people who command themselves. We are also Métis, madam. No more than savages to some. Time might come when we need more than hope, dear lady. It was really known as the golden age of Métis history, like we were really thriving. I now have a new name. To give many potlatches. This is my joy and responsibility to share with my people. And now, I am the chief. Now I am the leader of We Wake White People. One of the reasons that the potlatching ceremonies moved um, to the winter was to be able to get around um, some of the potlatch laws. This place takes you on an audio journey through 150 years of history. There will be no pipeline. Because we, the Dene people, are awakening to see the truth of the system of genocide that has been imposed on us, and we will not go back to sleep. Frank Tosselli gave one of the most important speeches of our time, right up there with Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream. He would never get Oka or Elijah Harper without the 1970s Red Power Movement. So he would never get Idle No More. He would just never get Idle No More without Elijah Harper. This would never happen. Reclaimed and retold by Indigenous peoples. It's our shared history, right? And for so long, our stories weren't being told. I saw this as an opportunity to um, raise awareness of the stories that exist and that weren't told. People can choose right now in the present to work towards a better future. I'm your host, Rosanna Deerchild. Think of me as your time guide storyteller. To learn more about this place, visit cbc.ca slash this place and follow us on your favorite podcast app. For more CBC podcasts, go to cbc.ca slash podcasts.